Hey, what's up guys, it's Eli, and uh, today I'm here at Griffin Roll Combat Sports here in um, Mentor, I always say it wrong, Mentor, Ohio. And I'm here with Joseph, and uh, Donnie's behind the camera. And we're gonna do some, uh, I've been teaching out here, I've got a seminar coming up, I've just taught some private lessons, and lots of different topics coming up, and lots of topics that have been asked for recently. One of the big ones is like things that work against bigger people. I don't really care for that question a whole lot because I'm not gonna change my game a whole lot just because somebody's much bigger. If it works and it has good leverage and it has good frames and everything, it's gonna work on pretty much anybody. Um, it's more like I can get away with cheating stuff on smaller people. But if you're gonna play solid fundamental jiu-jitsu stuff with really good principles and really good techniques, it's, it's gonna be good for everybody. So anyway, I wanna show this because it does a good illustration of uh, something that will be helpful against somebody who's big and heavy and strong. And I'm gonna use knee shield to uh, show it. So, so this knee shield position, basically what's happening is I'm hooking this bottom leg here in this way. So it's half guard to an extent, but this knee is coming up into his chest. What I'm doing with my feet in the back is I'm, I'm stacking my toes over here. That helps provide me a little bit of leverage to be able to drive that knee harder into his chest. So this is already a strong framing system. It doesn't matter if this guy's 300 pounds, it's gonna be hard for him to collapse that down coming this direction. Uh, we'll talk about different ways he can try to collapse it in just a second, but for right now, I'm hooking the bottom leg, I'm driving this in, and I'm gonna monitor this shoulder here. If he's leaning in heavy, then I can push hard and heavy, but I don't wanna overextend my arms too much. I just want this as a frame. Framing is a, a crucial detail, especially when dealing with somebody that's bigger, heavier, stronger, more aggressive, because it's a structural uh, resistance rather than a muscular resistance. If I fight muscle for muscle and the guy's much bigger, he's gonna overpower me, he's gonna collapse me, smash me, all that. But if I set frames, it's, it's skeletal structure, it's, it's leverage points that he can't collapse because it's just it's structurally impossible. So if we get here like this, now I've got good framing systems. I'm monitoring this arm because he may want to grab at my head, he may want to grab my neck, he may want to frame back on me. Lots of different things he can do, so I want to just monitor. I don't want to grab because now we're just going to be hand fighting. So I'm monitoring out here. Um, one of the first things I want to try to look to do is I'm going to try to sit up and get this underhook. So I'm going to kick this leg out and I'm going to come up and I'm going to get this underhook on this side and I want to win the head space, the inside space with my head over here too. Now, he's overhooking a little bit, but if he doesn't overhook, which most people will, but if he doesn't overhook, then I'm just gonna come out the back and I'm gonna look to take his back this way. So I've already got my inside hook here like this. I can come across, I can get my power half here like this and try to already start peeling him over. And now I've got back exposure and we're gonna start attacking, right? But like I said, most people, whenever I, I shoot up here, they're gonna get that overhook, this wizard kind of control on me like that. So his wizard is gonna drive me down and forward. So I'm gonna go with that pressure. I may resist it first, but I'm gonna go with it, dive this hand underneath the sweep here, and I'm gonna look for the sweep across. I'm gonna dance my leg out, and then I've got here, I'm already worked into my pass. So um, that gives me a good A and B option. If he doesn't overhook, then I'm gonna take his back. If he does overhook, I'm gonna sweep, pass his guard. So um, what's next is if we get here and off of this, sometimes the other things the guy can do, he's got to collapse this somehow. And so what he'll do, sometimes he'll start to weave this arm inside like this. Now weaving this arm inside, now he can start creating shoulder pressure, smashing my legs down, now he's gonna pass my guard. I don't want that to happen, obviously, so whenever I see this come in, I've gotta do something to fight against it, and I can't fight directly, so I'm gonna take this bottom hand, I'm still framing here, but I'm gonna take the bottom hand here, and I'm gonna grab high up on his tricep. Once I grab high up on that tricep here like this, I'm gonna push the space. Now, sometimes if I push, he'll push back. But if I start to pull, he'll pull back. So I'll pull first, push, and then I'm gonna kick this leg up, out, and around, and then drag. And now I've gotten uh, some back exposure again off of this arm drag. One more time, it looks like this. We go here this way. I wanna reach high up by his tricep. I'm pushing here, or collar tie first, then push. I wanna kick this leg out, around, come up and now I've got back exposure once again. I can start getting my hooks in or I can start coming here and peeling to be able to expose his back this way. So this kind of gives me a few different options. And the big thing that it illustrates more than anything else is how framing systems can really help to keep a lot of that weight off of me. It can slow down a, a forward, headstrong, aggressive opponent. And I think it's one of the most valuable positions if you're dealing with somebody who you just can't seem to get a good, even, advantageous position on, and you're forced to kind of play from your back. 
So this is a good way that you can kind of turn the tables on it. So that knee shield system is, is going to be really powerful for you if you need that kind of a tool. Uh, thank you, Joseph. Appreciate you, Lip. And appreciate Griffin Rock Combat Sports for having me out for the seminar again. Look them up. They've got a lot of really good information. And if you're in the Mentor, Ohio area and you need a place to train, come to Griffin Roll. It's an awesome place. Thank you again, guys. Keep watching Night Jiu-Jitsu Channel.